Hi everyone and welcome to today's stream. It's going to be uh, just me filling out this little sketchy book. Uh, this is one that I'm drawing my own cover to. I've done one side but I've not done the other side as yet. Uh, so I'm just going to be working on this but actually the reason for this stream is as you can probably guess by the title if you care please don't swear. Uh, basically of late uh, I'm noticing a huge amount of people using profanities in their everyday blogs, their everyday streams and all of that. Now at the end of the day each to their own if you're gonna swear uh, then fine but I just want to put it out there that you don't have to it's not compulsory and it doesn't make you a better person for it if you're growing a channel and you want it to develop not all of your audience is going to actually want to listen to you effing blinding and saying goodness knows what and causing offence because I'm going to be honest curse words, swear words, they do cause offence and just because uh, you don't see the offence that it actually causes doesn't mean that it's not doing damage and I know that a lot of the big YouTubers constantly swear it's it's actually really embarrassing you sat there, you can't even actually listen to the program out loud uh, especially with Nair's family around because the constant expletives and even if you're on a bus or somewhere like that and there's only a couple of people around and you hit play by accident and the first word is oh my effing beep 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 SWT you know every continent on the planet uh, everyone will look at you with absolute disgust because it's not funny it's not clever and it's it's boring you, you don't need to swear like something else and use such profanities to get people to come and watch your channel you should be able to engage a person through normal conversation and also showing a skill in what you're actually physically doing so in this case I'm doodling away doodle doodle but I don't need to start telling everybody oh my god this is absolute um, S or sorry I'm not going to swear <laughs> um, uh, but you get the idea I don't need to use those words within my description in everyday life yes we all do swear I mean uh, you hit your hand with a hammer or you squish your toe in the door you know yes we all let out a holler of something or other but uh, it's not something that really should be in general use in your language and in fact lots of people won't respect you as a person because all they think is well is that all you can say you can't get an intelligent conversation out of that person um, it certainly won't help you when looking for a job or anything like that because I uh, just want to remind people that employers nowadays some employers actually do ask to see YouTube channels uh, holiday camps things like Haven, uh, Park Dean and those people they will actually ask as part of the interview program do you have a YouTube channel do you do social media if yes can we have the link to it as a future employee you should be thinking does are they going to employ me if all they see is videos with me swearing in constantly and the answer is no they're not going to employ you because that is not the ethos that the companies are going to be wanting to be associated with so I'm, I'm desperately urging people to just think before they open their little mouths and to actually say to themselves I don't need to use those words it isn't relevant to what I'm doing I can find better language um, I don't I don't actually know how some of these gamers and such get so popular because I mean the language I, I suspect it's maybe the age of the viewers just find it quite funny to listen to somebody effing and blinding and all of that but it's it's not language that should be really encouraged to be used in everyday scenarios I mean yeah there are 
I'll admit there are people out there who will use the F word in about every fourth word. Now, that's not because they're actually physically swearing, it's because it's the way that they've been brought up. So, uh, someone might say, oh, those effing cows got on my nerves today. They wouldn't come down off the field and then I had to get the effing tractor. That sort of thing. Uh, I have met people like that. And it's almost, um, I don't know, it's almost like a little bit of a problem with the speech. But they don't physically mean it in a bad way. And they will try and counter it. It's like somebody with Tourette's. You can't expect someone with Tourette's not to swear. But then I asked myself, if they hadn't been introduced to swear words, what words would they use instead? Though I don't think I'm going to ever see or hear a Tourette's person yell out, oh fluffy bunnies. But uh, I was watching a YouTuber today and about every third, fourth word was quite a strong swear word. And I'm just thinking, this is boring. And in the end I actually turned off and I was just like, no, I can't be bothered listening to this trash talk. It doesn't improve at all in uh, the experience of watching them. And it didn't actually add anything to the game. The game wasn't, well, it wasn't scary and it wasn't high adventure, so they didn't physically need the language there. I mean, yeah, when you get something kind of game jump out and you go, woo, uh, then yes, you might kind of squeak out something. But to just constantly use it, it's, it's not appropriate. And you will get far more respect off of people for not using it and not using curse words and all of that than you will by using them. Um, look at that uh, Felix chappy. Pity, pity, boy, boy, um, that chappy has caused a lot of problems uh, through his actions, especially around YouTube. Um, he swears non stop and he seems to think it's funny. But if somebody actually went up to him and said, why don't you just wash your mouth out, speak some normal language, it might actually help your viewers. Well, I, say, I wonder if it's the maturity of the viewers. Being a, an older generation person myself, um, am I missing something here that I just can't s be bothered with um, the poor quality of language that's going on around now? I mean, I'm not saying to people go and eat a thesaurus by any means. But uh, it would just be nice to watch some of the videos without the constant swearing. So yeah, I, might, um, I think right now people need to start thinking about what their audience actually wants to hear, let alone see. I mean, if you've got uh, a niece or a nephew or a little one around and you and they're in the same room you've got to put earplugs on because you don't want your child hearing all of that filth but then if you're in your room and someone walks in and then hears something that is not very pleasant and takes umbrage at it uh, then you're in trouble and in a sense it's not your fault that's the content creator But if if everyone could maybe just take a little more time to just watch their language, and maybe change the way that they use it, it would be just awesome. I mean, I'm just waiting to see if the Oxford Dictionary brings out another new, brand new set of swear words because it's just ugh, it's ridiculous, ridiculous. Mind you, has anybody actually noticed that nearly every single word in English is being changed into something dirty, smutty, or something inappropriate? I mean, years ago, you could um, read a document where it said the children were happy and gay, and nowadays that's seen uh, gay is associated with something completely different. It's not associated with happy. So the use of language is evolving and changing. I fear people will take offence at a lot of things. But there's uh yeah, there's gotta be a line drawn somewhere. 
I hope there is. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add a wiggle up here. Now uh, these are the Spectrum Noir pens by the way, the original, well the big chunky ones. And the books that I'm colouring in, this is a canvas book, so it's got a lot of texture. Which depends, it does blunt them slightly so I'll probably end up either getting new nibs or uh, getting some new pens. Sharpies do work on these books but uh, you do run the nibs down really fast. In one of my A4 book covers that I did I actually got through about four Sharpies in a very very short period of time. Right. So a few of you probably can see the uh, kind of shimmer on a few of them. That's done uh, using the sparkle pens, the Spectrum Noir ones. Only the clear ones though. Um, I'm still struggling with the colour ones. I'm kind of on the brink of... Uh, well, I spoke to their customer service people and they said, kind of, well, I emailed them and they said, oh, you need to phone through. And I'm thinking, can I really be bothered? I don't really want any more of the products sent to me. We'll have to see how it goes. Because a few of them, where they fill the actual barrel has completely filled up with ink, I don't think I'm going to be able to use it at all. We got a little bit of sparkle on there. Right. Just going to grab a couple of blues. I have no idea if these ones are going to go together because I haven't got a colour chart out. I'm just going to go for it. So I'm just going to colour in certain small areas. I mean, what do you guys think to all this swearing on YouTube and other channels? Do you think it enhances your viewing pleasure? That probably sounds rather wrong. <laughs> I mean, if people didn't swear constantly, would you be more interested. I know there's a mute button but sometimes it's nice to hear the creators talk you through what they're doing. Or do you think it should just be accepted and put up with? Do we take uh, swearing far too seriously? I mean would you, would you walk up to the Queen, the President or um, the Governor and say hi man you look effing amazing that's some really cool S to their face. I mean, you'd probably actually be tackled by security. <laughs> but surely people do still feel embarrassment when using those words? And if they, d if people turn around and say, oh, it's alright, I don't use them in public, um, you do. You're doing it online. Just because you're not physically there, people are still hearing it, people are still uh, reacting to it. So it's the same effect. No, I just it's been bugging me the last few days with watching a lot of content creators and just I guess I am fed up of it. And I've, un I've unsubscribed for a, quite a lot of them. Cause I'm just bored, bored of swearing constantly. I mean, where I work, if somebody turns around and swears, we kick them out of the shop. Especially if it's it's swear directly at um, their member of staff or someone. That's it. 
little bit, but you're gone. And that's because the store is meant to be like a family store. Anyone should walk in and not feel that they're going to hear something that could be taken as offensive. I say, people with Tourette's, no problem with it at all. It's just because at the end of the day, that, that's um, that can't be helped. I mean, they do try. A lot of them don't like the condition, and they do try their utmost. Bless them. But people who can cognitively make that decision, I do question their reasoning for continuously swearing. Like I say, employers will go and check out your ch channels. Um, certain other companies, apart from the ones in entertainment, um, quite a lot of employers now do go onto Facebook and they see if you've uploaded any videos, and they find links. And you can t you can lose your well in some cases, yes, you can lose your job for posting what they would class as inappropriate content. And other people you might lose a contract because a contractor has seen you acting like a absolute idiot and decide I don't want this person doing the job for me. They're too immature, they're not very I'd say they're not very sophisticated, they've not got any manners. They're very childish, immature. They lacking respect and the thing is it also means lacking self-respect I mean, if you don't believe me, then um, let's, let's put it this way. If you went into the local shop and spoke to the person swearing constantly, watch their face. You could, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it because you're likely to either get hit or uh, get told to get out. But if you did that, or if you're at school, turn around to your teacher and use that sort of language, I doubt they're going to take it very well. You'll probably end up with detention and such. Maybe even expulsion. Um, some schools do take it very seriously because they're trying to teach people morals and respect. So if it's not okay to do it and use that language on the street, why is it okay to do that on a gaming program or a platform or, well, you know, YouTube, Twitch and whatnot? I'd just like people to have a little thinky about it. And if you say to yourself, oh, I don't do that often, rewatch one of uh, your videos and, in fact, go through a load of videos and just check. Prove to yourself that you're not... If you don't want to be using bad language, double check yourself and make sure you're not... This is a bit more too Prussian blue. These canvas books take the spectrum pens quite well, but there's quite a lot of bleed out. So when you do a line, because um, of the texture and the canvas to it, the ink does tend to fill in a gap, so sometimes it's best not to go right to the edges. 
You can always come through and f fill that in later on. Use a lighter pen to fill in any gaps. TB7, this is TB9, how much of a difference? Oh, not too much. So I think that's going to do it just for now. It's just a very short video. Uh, this one, just while well, I kind of had to blend about the uh, do we have to swear thing. So I uh, hope that's made a few of you actually have a little bit of a think about when you're doing videos or how you're talking to people, especially online. Even if you're doing um, chat boxes, are you using appropriate language? Are you being decent and respectable, not only to the person you're communicating with, but to yourself. Have some self-respect. It helps loads. So there we go. Right, um, now if you like what you see or actually what you hear, no swearing included, <laughs> uh, then please remember you're always welcome to follow or like or whichever option is available. And I should be back very shortly with a full video and finishing the colouring for this image. So, until then, take care, happy drawing, and all the best. <laughs>